All right, so Jenny, you you wrote me um, about what you were calling at the time tinnitus, tinnitus. Well, how do you pronounce it? Tinnitus. That's Tin- what I called it. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I've heard it both ways. We'll just call it tinnitus now. Okay. And and for those who may not know, listening and who may not know what that means, it's a ringing in the ears, and some people have really big time and it rings in their ears and they drive them nuts. And other times it's kind of mild and it goes up and down and da, da, da. yours, however, because we talked earlier before this recording, wasn't like that. It's a, not a ringing. It's a, well, describe it. <laughs> um, I just hear the sound like zzz all the time in the background, but I don't really feel it in my ears. It's in the middle of my brain. Yeah, you told me that. You told me that. And it's not a ringing. It's a something like that. Yes, mild, mild. Like an electrical humming. uh, That's my term. Humming humming is the word, but I don't feel it's even electrical. I, it's it's difficult to describe. It's almost like you know, it's in the universe. All right. <laughs> and you told spiritual. you told yeah you told me you told me that um, it started. I think in your email to me, it started something like eighteen years ago, something like or that. Even yeah, maybe we'll discuss that for a minute. But I'm going to get some other background here first. Okay. Yeah, I sure. Can. All right. So. Does it go, is it always a constant level or does it go up sometimes, down sometimes, yeah, disappear sometimes, sometimes? Yes, yes, that's exactly like you said. So sometimes it's not there at all. Yes. As far, I know, I know nobody's probably ever asked you this, but give me your best guess. What percent of the time is it gone? Very few, like 10% maybe. All right. So night is there ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Okay. But mostly it's mild. It doesn't impact my sleeping, life quality, whatever at all. Okay. Well, now when you say mild, if you would, we need to put that in a zero to ten, um, you know, le- level. Is it a mm-hmm. one, a two, a five, a eight? What would you call it? Usually it's three to four. But sometimes if I am tired so or stressed, it will go up to like seven to eight. Okay. So, okay. So a, a key thing that which we may want to explore a little bit later on is it tends to be most of the time like a three or four, but if you're tired or stressed, interesting word, we may want to get to that, then it will go up to seven or eight. Uh, Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. But not very often. All right. Well, when you say not very often, 5% of the time, 30% of the time? Uh, Maybe 10, seven, eight to 10%. Okay. Seven to 10%, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it goes up to seven or eight. Otherwise, it stays pretty level most of the time at like a three or a four. Yeah. Is it there right at the moment? Yeah, that's what I shared with you before we started. It's like, okay. you know, and this ego thing we talk about, you know, well, knows well, that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we will get to that. But for, okay. For, okay. For, yes. Yes. For the moment, for the moment, is it currently a three or four or a seven or eight? No, or no. Today, actually, it's like almost no that, you know, we are dealing with it. So it goes up. Actually, it's like six to seven. Right now, it's six to seven. Yes. All right. All right. Before we go any further, before we mm-hmm. go any further, and we have much to do and just and explore here. Yes, I, want, sure. I want to try something. Okay. Um, in my view, it, it has maybe a 50% chance of doing something. I just want to see if it does. Okay. okay. And okay. that is, I am going to work in your behalf with unseen therapists yes. without your involvement. I'm going to do it surrogately. I'm going to sit here and 
California and you're how many thousands, <laughs> how many thousands of miles away are you from me? I don't know. <laughs> In Florida, <laughs> yes. Okay, well, you're 3,000 miles away, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try this surrogately. Mm -hmm. I, nothing may happen. Nothing may happen. Okay. But then again, something might. And I just want to know if something does. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm just going to sit here, bring in unseen therapists in your behalf, surrogately, aiming only at the symptom. We haven't okay. even begun to get, even explore what the cause may be. But I want to see if surrogate work on the symptom budges anything. Okay. All right. So be quiet. Play music in your head, whatever you want. <laughs> I'll, Do I'll I need back. to close my eyes? I, I, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do whatever you want to do. Do your shopping list if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be back shortly. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Jenny, check it out. Uh, is it still a, a, a six or seven? It's okay if it is, by the way. I just, we're just checking. Okay. Yeah, kind of still similar. But the thing is, um, I feel the warmth in the back of my neck area. You, uh, a extra warmth of some kind yes a bit warm warm now uh can you give and me also, some go ahead yeah. go ahead and also the sound yeah it, it's almost like the sound it's not just only in the middle of brain it, it's like in the whole back area it's in the background including the neck area and it's warm when i touch it right now it's very warm Okay, now is that warm and all that? Is it does that seem like that's that's a good thing, a healing thing, or it just got worse? No, it's not getting worse. I just feel like maybe it's healing. Well, okay, we don't know for sure, but okay. Let me give another round, okay? We'll see okay. what happens. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. All right, check it out. Any, any changes? It's interesting. I mean, how to describe it? I hope I can describe in a way people can understand. You know, I just feel like, Chris, I'm sensitive to energy. So I just feel the whole area I mentioned in the back of my skull and neck of uh, the back of neck, head. It's like it's the energy is less dense, less light dense or, or thinner. That thinner, kind of thing. Less dense, thinner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like 10% thinner or 40% thinner? 20 to 30%. Okay. Thing, huh? All right. Is it still, would you still call the intensity a six or seven? Um, maybe six, five to six, maybe. But the interesting part is I feel like in the front of my chest, my front area, a kind of 
energy came out, like stress energy, whatever? Okay, well, for whatever it's worth, among the things I'm doing is aiming at the symptom or the, you know, in the brain kind of thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But but I do feel this. You well, know, I'm, it's like. I'm also creating imaginarily me being you surrogately because we're all one. It just doesn't yes. appear that way. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, waves of peace, if you will. There's some mm -hmm. kind of lack of peace. We all have it lack of peace in the system and i'm trying to bring that down at least for now that's part of it that may be what you're feeling here i don't know okay 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 all right one more try one more try and then we'll okay i just want to see what happens we'll go on from there okay hold on okay yeah All right, check it out again. Uh -huh. Any any changes? Yeah, the difference is uh, the number. Maybe it's uh, five, but the difference is something inside in the brain whatever in the whole inside internal state i just feel like a bit opening or or, or with some more a bit better clarity something like that because okay. sometimes when those sound was on i sometimes will feel like you know foggy in mind that kind of thing yeah. So, so yeah. Let me put it this way: it's less foggy, something like that, a bit okay. more clear inside. Okay. So what I'm hearing is the surrogate work um, produced some noticeable kind of healing, but by no means complete. It's not all gone or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. There's been some yeah. movement in a healing direction. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Does that seem right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm still gathering information. And, and, and yes, sure. And just so you know, and anybody listening in know, it's important to start gathering information because along the way, we're probably going to be doing some reframing, looking at things a little differently, and yes. all of that. All of that is so we can, and unseen therapist is listening in. Okay. Yes. All of that is so we can put as much on the table when we finally bring her in. Okay? Yes officially, if you will, um, we want to put as much on the table. So we, we have, we minimize any possibility of forgetting something, repressing something. I don't want to look at this, yes. you know, that yes. kind of stuff that we, we all do. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So the purpose is to explore, Oh, I didn't think about that kind of thing. Put stuff on the table, examine, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So that we hopefully loosen up, within you any resistance that might be there oh, because, yeah. because one of the things one of the things that's important to recognize is that the unseen therapist recognizes our free will yes to believe as we choose and she's not going to come in and say oh you can't believe that you got to believe this okay yes yes but she's not going to interfere with that okay um yeah. but if we're willing to let go of it and understand it better and all of that and it's on the table. Hey, gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. But that's. Can I, can I add something? Please. So I feel like right now the energy move a bit down, which is surrounding my throat. It's more like in the front and the back sides of my throat. The energy, you know, it's, it's like I just. Feel the sensation there surrounding my throat. Okay. Area. All right. Now that's see that's really good feedback 
because uh, you have some energy sensitivity other people tend not to have. Okay. Yeah, because I do that. Yes. Yeah, and that's good, and and it may be it may end up being rather useful because we could use that perhaps as a barometer for what's going on as this session unfolds. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can give me feedback, you know, now it's in my knees or something, <laughs> whatever okay. happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, or it's changed and in, 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 now it all got worse. Well, we want to know that too. Okay. Okay. If, if something happens like that. Okay. All right. Now let's go back. Let's go back. You said something like 18 years ago or thereabouts is when it first started. I, I remember that, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Do you recall at that time, Anything that may have been going on in your life emotionally. Oh, totally. Okay. What, what, what might that be? Yeah. I, I knew it and I worked on this. Uh, back then, you know, my, uh, I just, my son was just born, not, you know, uh, yeah, new, newborn. And uh, I worked in the corporate as consultant and a coach with very, very intense working loads. You know, every day I will work like eight sessions or whatever. So, um, and then uh, my mother was sick. She got like a hemorrhage during one year, like, you know, four times I see you. So my younger brother didn't live with us back then, you know, so it's like all on me, baby and, uh, you know, career work and my mother and uh, my father was stressed out totally. So I was then stressed out. So I just felt like it was so full in my head, in my brain. It's like everything I need to think about all the details everything yeah. okay so stressed out and then i started to have you know also not kidney disease kidney issue so it, it's like stressed out symptoms do you so, have kidney issues now i would say no but once a while yeah it's funny you know when we are talking right now i really feel the both kidney area it's the sensation like uh, i experienced before i worked on this a lot okay it just went away and then came back well okay let, let me tell you what okay. that says, says to me it doesn't make me right okay you always have to see, I don't know your whole life history. You do. Okay. Yes. And so yes. I, I have to put things together, make guesses, and we start going indoors. But you, if I'm going in the wrong door and I have some assumptions incorrect, you've got to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So, so, but what I'm, what I'm hearing here is, okay, there you are in this situation. Your mother is sick. You've got corporate stresses and, you know, tons of stuff on your plate. Yes. New mother, all of that. All right. Um, and at some, at some point, some of that starts to fade, but your res this is my guess, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your response to all that stress at that time did not get resolved. And pieces of that are still kicking around today, showing up physically. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm on target there? Yes. Okay. Now, you say you've worked on it. Now, many people work on it. Uh, what I find often, if we work on it and maybe got some temporary stuff and all of that yes. uh, or partial or whatever, but it didn't go away. That means we didn't get as much of it as we could. There is still stuff under the table, maybe hidden from us. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we don't want to look at it. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, sure. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. But see, that's, I'm a great one for testing. Anybody who takes our advanced <laughs> course will know that. Okay. Yes. Yes. But the ultimate test is how the world unfolds for you. <laughs> you know? Yes. Because, because, because life will give you the tests. Yes. And if the kidneys start bothering you and the zzz goes on and the, the something's missing, okay? Something didn't get resolved. Something more foundational. 
tends to be there. Now, any of these things I say that you don't quite agree with, are you you got to tell me. I agree. <laughs> okay. All right. So we want to look for what that might be. Okay. Now, 18 years ago, uh, uh, how old would you have been at that point at that time? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, almost like late 30. Okay. Late 30s. Now, as a general rule, as a general rule, if we're going to go back to specific events underlying something, we typically need to go, to state differently, the farther back we go in time, like as into childhood, the more foundational it's likely to be. So something in your late 30s, well, that may well be what we're going to aim at. That probably has something more foundational still in the background. Okay, so I'm just sowing that seed with you for the moment. We'll, we'll see if we need to pick up that seed and water yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, sure. As this thing's unfold. But let's take the, age, the 18 years ago thing. All right. Mm -hmm. So there you are um, with all this stress. Now, I want to get behind that stress. It's one thing to describe. You know, I got all this stress. My mother this and my father that and my just new mother and corporate stuff. And da, 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 da. That's describing the why of the stress. Okay. The details behind the stress. We're not so interested in the details behind the stress as we are in your response to it. And that's what I want to get behind, your emotional response. Yes. So let's explore that for a minute. And we're going to be asking you some questions that you may have never thought about. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jenny. Yes. But at that time, I'm looking for something like, I really can't do this, or this is too much for me, or I'm being put upon, or, or um, I have to do this or else. Um, I'm not lovable. I don't count. I'm not good enough, and this is testing how good enough I really am. I'm guessing at all this. Stuff. Okay, any, okay. Any of those ring a bell? Uh, no. Actually, I knew that for me, it's more like I have to be perfect. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. You have to be perfect. And yet. Because that's my father's, you know, teaching All and, right. uh, you know, non described, you know, words to put on us all the time. The pressure. We have to be super Perfect. Good. All right. Now, <laughs> thank you. You get some Gary. You get some, you get some Gary kisses. Okay. <laughs> okay. Receive it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me let me expand from the. Remember, I said earlier that something eight, 18 years ago or eight, late thirties or whatever um, was. It may be important, yes, 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 but it's probably bouncing off of something more foundational way back when, okay? And, and what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, and always correct me, always correct me, is here you are in all this stressful circumstances. You are being tested in every way, and you have to oh, be frozen. Perfect. Oh, frozen? Am I still it's frozen? frozen? I cannot hear you. Uh, right now, I can hear you. Not, yeah, okay, it's back you can now. hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. yeah. All right. So let me go over that again. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I think we're on the target here, but again, you got to, you got to tell me. Yes. So here you are in this corporate thing 18 years ago and all this other stress. And underneath all that is you got to be perfect, but you are being tested so big. Probably nobody could, <laughs> I don't care how <laughs> yeah, perfect yes. they are, could really yes. come out of that and do it all perfectly. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And even if they did do it perfectly, who's to define what perfect really means? Yeah, that's true. There's a difference between being perfect and doing it adequately. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. But whatever perfect is above adequate, you know, uh, 
that's up to somebody's definition, whatever that may be. And, and a hundred people will give you a hundred definitions of what that is. Okay. All different definitions, you know. So I'm presuming in all of this, the real issue, even though that's when the tinnitus and the zzz in the head and all that began, I'm presuming that was a sort of a crescendo moment telling you you're not really all that perfect. You've got to be anyway, and somehow you failed because you got this built in. I've got to be perfect thing. Yeah. And it sort of broke the eggshell and here comes this. That's my yeah. guess. That's my guess. Uh, on target? Yes. And also another piece. Uh -huh. Not only I need to be perfect, Chris, I know for my father, nothing will be perfect. He will always find something when you are perfect. And then the next thing will come up. Of course. So for me, it's like the resentment or so about being already perfect as a human, but still not being recognized. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's also, by the way, your ego speaking. I want to be recognized. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I, want, I want to be the, the, the king of my own little mountain. And I want somebody <laughs> to say, you're okay. We love you and everything else. Okay. Don't keep yeah. telling me everything I do that's perfect isn't perfect enough. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. And I could resent that. Mm -hmm. All right. Get in touch with that for a minute if you could. And and give me your best guess. Again, this is questions you've not been asked before, probably. Okay. On a scale of zero to 10, how resentful do you think you are of that? At this moment? Yeah. Even though it's not that high, but it's interesting enough that I do feel it in my both kidneys. <laughs> in your what? Kidneys. Oh, your kidneys. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. So the mere, oh, okay, here's what happens a lot. Not necessarily what's happening with you, but we're exploring, okay? Uh, I'll ask people because they've worked on things like their resentments and so on, and they'll say, well, it's not that bad, okay? Um, but when you start feeling it in your kidneys, that's a, or somewhere physically, that's a clue that there's a lot more going on that you're either not in touch with yet, Mm -hmm. Don't want to really look at because it's too painful. Maybe have forgotten, repressed, all that stuff we talked about before. That's a yeah. clue. That's a clue. And it showed up physically. Yeah, but I need to add something here, Chris. Uh -huh. uh, back to those years when this Z sound started to come up, that was also the time. I got burned out myself and I finally was sick. And it led to finally I had to, I, I didn't, you know, want to continue the job. I quit the job finally. And my health issues, because of my health issues, I just didn't have any energy finally to do all these kind of thing or so. That's actually when the time I was received, you know, different information about EFT, about this to heal. And also the main piece is that that's the time also I felt from my kidney, the symptoms. So the uro infection or whatever, you know, I remember when I walk on the street or so, I could, I could feel, you know, my kidneys. It's weak. I was very fatigued, that kind of thing. And also the other piece is I realized all these. I had awareness of these and I did tapping or whatever a lot on these things. But some piece, debris is still there. So something it's not resolved, like you said, yeah. or yeah. resistance. I don't yeah. know. But anyway. Yeah. yeah. For those... For those listening in who may already be familiar with EFT and for those who consider themselves to be highly evolved in it and well-trained or 
whatever your own view of that is. This is something I see over and over and over again. And we always need to test because what happens so frequently is we will get a certain degree of, of improvement. We'll go, yay, okay. But there's always more to do. That's why we need to learn how to test, 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 explore, get down to other stuff we haven't seen yet, and so on. So that's just my little, my little commercial to the those listening in. <laughs> okay, now, now, so as a result of all of this stress that you had 18 years ago, you ended up getting sick. That does not surprise me because to me, and I'm not a doctor and I wasn't there. This is just my, my view. The likelihood is that finally, 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 too much, too much, too much sick kidney stuff, things, stuff, things start falling apart. You can only be so perfect so much and you have to live <laughs> up to it before you finally break. Okay. Yes, yes. And you have so much stress. And when you have stress, negative, you have anger and resentment and guilt and all kinds of stuff going on there. Your immune system has to deal with the cascade of negative chemistry that creates in your body. Any doctor will tell you that. Okay. Yes. And so when your immune system is, is doing that, which it must do, or you're in big trouble, it can't do everything. And so physical things start to show up. Yes. Kidneys and whatever. Okay. Sickness in some kind or other. Now, what you're left with, if I'm hearing it right, yeah. is two things. One is the tinnitus, you're calling it. Okay. And the kidney thing. The tinnitus is more present. Kidneys show up from time to time. Am, am I right? Yes. Okay. So it isn't just tinnitus. It's a, it's a kidney thing too. Yes, it's related. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, typically, the, uh, I don't, not a doctor, but I don't, I've never heard a doctor say, well, you know, tinnitus and kidneys are related. I've never heard that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sense it. I, I, I know it's related because very often when I feel, you know, the zzz sound goes louder and I can feel sometimes in the kidney areas yeah, as okay. well. All right. Okay, so what we're doing here, just to emphasize now, is we're, we're going to be aiming at something deeper than you've gone to before, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to aim at a good start. There's probably more to do than we're going to be able to do in one session here. There are lots of pieces to it and things like that. Yeah, sure. But what I'm hoping to do is to get down to the very centerpiece of it, um, maybe even kick the center out of it. Mm -hmm. And get a really good start here. That's the, that's the goal. Okay. So in all this time, uh, Jenny, we've been, we've been um, exploring and we've been doing some reframing and we've gotten to, I think, to the reframing point of, ah, there's some emotional stuff clear back to my, possibly my father's need for me to be perfect uh, this perfection thing, um, the kidneys somehow seem to be related or say it differently, seem to come from the same cause, the cause being the perfection need. I see you nodding your head. Okay. <laughs> um, and so while, while in one sense, maybe the Z and the kidney aren't related themselves, they do appear to have the same cause in this case. Mm -hmm. Seems right. Yeah. Same emotional cause. Anyway. Okay. So let's go back in time. We're, we're going to ignore the 18 years ago thing for the moment. I want to go to something seemingly more foundational. So your father, I, I gather your father from as early as you can remember has always got this message to you, you need to be perfect, you need to be perfect, you need to be perfect. Am I right, or did it start at a certain age? Yeah, it's always, from always. the beginning. As yeah. far as you can remember. Always okay. criticize. Okay. And would I, would I guess correctly 
that part of his logic for that is my children need to make their way in this difficult world. And so they need to be better and better and better, perfect oh, yes. and perfect and perfect. And I can't possibly let them, you know, be normal. Yeah. You know, e external success, that was always what I, you know, pursued until finally I knew it was not the answer that I had been seeking for my life. Okay. Yeah. Now we want to get, we want to get, this is part of the reframing, Jenny. We, Jenny, mm -hmm. we, want to, okay. we, want, we want to get to your father. We want to get to the source of what, why you have this built in emotional need to be perfect. We, what we want to do eventually is go <laughs> with that thing. <laughs> you don't need to be perfect, whatever perfect is. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. But to do that, so we're not just talking about it academically, discussion in our head. You want to own this idea. Yes. We need to look at the source. Okay. Yes. So are we agreeing that your father would, perhaps in a loving way, uh, be wanting to, to do this perfection thing to raise you right, whatever that is? Yes. In his, in his, in his perception? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm also wondering about another possible mo motivation he would have. And that is he has unrest within himself, perhaps being criticized by his own parents and background and so on. Totally. And he needs to have you and maybe other children. <laughs> yes, yes. Be his badge. If they are perfect, that means he's a good father. He, yes. Uh, how am I doing? That's exactly, I almost wanted to speak it out myself. And uh, thank you for speaking out for me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is because of his, the historical reason, whatever, his life experience was like he had a good life until later on something happened and all the success, status, and wealth was taken away from him. And he never got recovered from his own, you know, emotional stuff, fear. So he put his hope on us, on me. And when we are successful, that will satisfy him. Yeah. And of course, there's no such thing as being ultimately successful. There's always another level. Always, always. Yeah. Okay. Always. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you, 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 Jenny, cannot ever, ever, ever win. <laughs> yeah, that's am, I, am I right? Am I right? Oh, true. Yes. You can reach the top of the mountain, but then the mountain grows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that's got to be loaded with, I'm going to call it anger, stress, frustration. Yeah. Uh, I'm even hearing the possibilities for guilt in it. Why can't I do better? You know, you may have yeah. reached a, a level, you may have gotten all A's, but you've got to be someplace. And oh my, you know, and all of a sudden, whatever this less than perfect thing is, gets blown out of proportion. I, I may, I'm making this up, but I'm, uh, yeah, it's working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. But the ultimate reframe here. What's really important is that we get to the point where you don't just academically say, yeah, yeah, that's my dad's thing. And uh, you own the fact that you're free of it now. Mm -hmm. You own the fact that you don't have to live up to his perception of perfection or anybody else's for that matter. We need to, oh, that's how you're free. Mm -hmm. We need to own it, not just discuss it. Okay. Yes. So I didn't ask you this before. I'm going to ask you now because we want to do some testing. It just all goes along. But by the way, okay. how, are your, how, how are your kidneys and the zzz going right now? That's interesting. The zzz sound actually goes down. It's low now. It's like... Uh... Three to four. All right. But the K 
balcony areas, the sensation like I felt back to those years, you know, the familiar sensation, it's there. It's growing, actually. Well, give me a zero to 10 for an estimate, if you can. Mm, six. All right. These are always estimates. These numbers are never absolutely accurate, by the way, just so you know. They're, they're yeah. just gui- they're guidelines for us, okay? Yes. So that we can compare later on uh, kind of thing. Okay. Um, so, also, and you've never been asked this before, <laughs> probably. Okay. okay. Um, how am I even going to ask this? Uh, I'm going to have you say a sentence for me Mm -hmm. and just say the sentence out loud and then think about it for a minute. Then tell me on a scale of zero to 10, how true does this feel to you? I want the emotional response, not the logical response. Okay. The emotional response. And Mm -hmm. here's, here's the sentence. I must be perfect. Say it out loud first. I must be perfect. I know, I understand that I should not, you know, uh, feel it from my logical mind. But emotionally, I do know that I, do, I don't feel it's that true, finally. Well, okay. But it's, let me- it's more, it's more for me, like, how can I say? I, I definitely don't feel like I need to be perfect, but... Right now, it's more for me like, ideally, I need to be there, but I'm not there yet. And uh, I'm not happy about that. Where, Something where, like that. Where is there? There is like my desire, my purpose, and the state, the, the stage of my current work right now. You know, the, the place I think I need to be. All right. Now we're going to shift a little, <laughs> a little bit. We had a discussion prior to this recording. Yes. Which I think I've got correctly. And I think we're getting someplace really tangible. But let, okay. me, let me say that you were talking before we ever recorded that one of your avowed purposes, personal, not your father's goal, yours goal, your goal, um, was to be. Uh, spiritually far more evolved than you are. You have a yes. calling. You want to be able to help other people get into more spiritual places and, and, and yes. ad- advance your own spiritual movement higher and higher and higher. And yes. so that is a goal. And so what I'm hearing is this embedded piece of you must be perfect means that spiritual goal, you've got to get there and get there big time and get there now and be bigger than Jesus and all of that. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit, perhaps, but <laughs> okay. but it's 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 there's a motivation, a drive in there that is maybe unrealistic or is pushing you too hard. How am I doing? Yes, somewhat. Yes. See, there's there's one thing to see. I got to be spiritual. Like I, I'm not. I'm not there yet. You know, I. I don't have my flowing white robe and I still get angry at things and something's wrong with me. And I'm, but I want to be the spiritual. Like that. That's one way to go about it in exaggerated sense. Okay. That's mm-hmm. one way to go about it. The other way is to be, Oh, let me relax into it. That's all mm-hmm. it really takes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let me, oh, I've got these. Yeah. I've got these angers and these resentments. Everybody has these things. Yeah. 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 So let's work on this one. Don't have to get it all done today. Let's work on this one. We'll work on that one. Wait a minute, go great. But let me relax into this. That's mm-hmm. it. That's the other way of getting into it. Yes. And my guess is you're more the first way than the second way. Tell me. Yeah, a little bit. Or the best, I would say, at least it's at the edge. So now I'm shifting now from the first way you mentioned to the, you know, natural way, okay. if I can say. 
at least I'm at the edge. All right. Now, let me just check in with you. Okay. This thing that I just said, describing the two and all of that, and the, the, this, this avenue. <laughs> Did that have anything? Did that shift at all? The zzz in the kidneys. The zzz sound actually it's shifting more. So it's right, get, it's now, getting I, it's getting worse. No, it's it's better. Oh, better! Instead of a three yeah. or four, it's a two, two, three. All right. Okay, and the kidneys. Kidneys. Five, maybe. Well, that's a slight improvement from six. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, and again, they're guesses and they're not dramatic, dramatic moves, but they seem to mm -hmm. be moving in, in this direction. That's clues to me that we are, we are on target, maybe not the bullseye, but we're on, we walked in, we walked in a good door. That's a clue to me. Yeah. Yeah. Is, this, is that how it feels to you or not? Yes. Yes, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I appreciate you uh, point this out, you know, at spiritual level, actually, I took it also as the old way I always worked, like, you know, taking it as a go, and it's always go, go, go getting, you know, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, that yeah, kind of energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. got to be perfect. Okay. Um, <laughs> No, I got it. Listen, my parents did not embed that in me. They were blue collar workers and, and all of that. But I got it just from the culture itself. This is America. You know, <laughs> conquer the world. <laughs> get, get rich, you know, have four <laughs> houses and, you know, buy, buy the country of Canada or whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> believe me believe yeah. me that that was me some years ago okay <laughs> anyway so we want to start moving here a little bit now we're going to bring in unseen therapy we're getting close to bringing in unseen therapists we're still doing some reframing and putting stuff okay. on the table and and all of that okay but we got the perfection thing down we got the, the father down there thing is there anything else about the father See what I'm what I'm trying to the the ultimate reframe when we talk about father and this that source of perfectionism yes. that you carry around. Um, is there anything else about his motivations? See what I ultimately the, the ultimate reframe is we want to separate. That's his issue. Mm -hmm. It is no longer mine. Mm -hmm. father needs me to be a badge father's already raised me is he living yes okay but it's his issue it is not my issue that's the reframe we want to get to and that's mm -hmm. the ultimate freedom by the way mm -hmm. yeah now are we going to get there totally today I don't it would be nice. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. Could you get complete freedom on that? And, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm not, I don't want you to dance to my father's, <laughs> to my father. You're dancing to your father's music. Are you not? <laughs> yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, let him dance to his own music. God bless him. Kisses for your yes. father. Okay. Yes. But you don't need to do That's the reframe we want to get to. Okay. That's what ultimately we want to get to. Do we get there totally today? Well, I don't know. Are we going to get there partially? I would hope so. Yeah. Okay. I, I, would, sure. I would hope so. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, another layer. Okay. It's not just my father. It's my, it's his family tribe lineage line, the tribe situation. It's like, because our family, you know, uh, wealth, power, whatever was taken away. So the tribe carried the energy of these kind of uh, resentful or, you know, fear. And then, you know, really the strong desire, like we need to bring it back. We need to be good because that's where we came from, you know, that kind of thing. So the mm -hmm. pressure. 
Okay. Sometimes becomes judgment. Okay, of course, of course. Well, well, well judgment, you got to be perfect. I mean, that's, that's a form of judgment. Okay, I mean, <laughs> okay. Um, something, something was in my mind about that. I just, okay, it's okay. It, it just flitted away, but, mm-hmm. um, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. One other thing about your father. Would I be correct? Frozen. Oh, am I still frozen? Am I still frozen? It's back. It's back okay. now. All right. Okay. One other thing about your father. Would I be correct in assuming that one of your father's greatest needs, if not his greatest need, would be love? Correct? Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay. If your father had was filled with love from his own experiences, his family, his tribe, and all of that, just filled with love, would he be de- demanding perfection of you, do you think? At least it will be so much better. It would not be that unreasonable. It would be supportive rather than demanding. Am I yes. saying it right? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with achieving. There's nothing wrong with improving yourselves and so on. That's what we're doing with our OEFT course and Unseen Therapy. We're improving ourselves. Nothing yes. wrong with that. Okay. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But we want to do it in a supportive manner. Yes. Rather than a demanding manner. Okay. All right. With that in mind, let's bring in unseen therapists. Are, are you ready okay. for this? Oh, yeah. I love unseen <laughs> therapists. <laughs> okay. So, um, what you may have seen in our advanced course and our self-help sessions and all of that, uh, Jenny, is recorded versions of how I do these things. Okay. And what it tends to be is, is me narrating an unseen therapist session and the two of us, me and my recorded client working together to, to get some results. Okay. You and I are going to do a similar thing. But, but I want to emphasize here, though, is that I would like to have you participate in this very actively. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Rather than this being me narrating unseen therapists help for you, it will be you, me, and unseen therapists all working together. That's a little different. That's a little different. Good. Okay. What that, what that also means is while I will sort of be the, what would you, the master of ceremony, so to speak, the guider, mm-hmm. I'm going to narrate things and so on. Um, your participation would be when something comes up. Oh, I just had a different thought. Or what about this or that kind of thing? While nobody's requiring you to add that in, you're encouraged to add that in because that may be take us in a place we need to yes, go that sure. we haven't seen so far. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So love is best when shared. And now we're going to share the three of us. Yes. Being really good friends, all three of us. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So with that in mind, um, this session is likely to be maybe a little longer than what you're used to. I don't mm-hmm. even know yet. Okay. We'll see what I'm, happens. I'm okay today, Chris. Okay. I, I, yeah. All right. So close the eyes. We'll get started. Close the eyes. Take a, take a nice, deep, uh, relaxing breath. And uh, just as a way of inviting unseen therapists, just recall a loving moment in your life. And whenever you're there, just nod your head. Yes. All right, good. Good. All we're doing with that, re- recalling the loving moment, is just to align ourselves as best we can with the pure love of unseen therapist. She's listening. She's been listening all along, but with this recall loving moment and aligning with her, we're saying, ah, we're going to listen to you for a change. Our ego has (laughs) been running around giving us all the answers and it's been blotting you out. We're not listening to that, but we're going to give you something to work on. We're going to work with you and we're listening. That's all. That's all that is. Okay. She's going to do the work. We are going to be her assistant in this 
So we say unseen therapists, look, we've got this, um, these kidney issues, this zzz in the head. And um, we normally go to just a specific event. And we could do that here. And maybe we'll get to a specific event. But we're really looking here for more of a much larger reframe. That is the impact of father's impact on Jenny's need to be perfect. It's in her way. It's costing her like it would cost anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so unseen therapist says, well, okay, what we first need to do is to have a visit with your father. Understand you have some resentments here. You have probably a lot more going on, Jenny, than just the resentments and the angers and this kind of thing, the frustration that you recognize. Well, there may well be some guilt on your own part. Why can't I be perfect or why can't I do it just right? Is that, uh, maybe more than you think. Okay. Fears about what would happen if I didn't get there. Would I lose my father's love? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe at some level. Okay. Can be a whole kaleidoscope of possible emotional responses to this, all of which keep you in a sort of prison. You're behind a jail cell door. And the and the bars of it are labeled things like you've got to be perfect. Do it right, Jenny. Be my badge. Okay. Do it right or else. Something's wrong with you. Right. Got to be perfect. Who cares about your kidneys? You got to be perfect. <laughs> A little lightness there, if you will. Okay. <laughs> but your kidneys are paying a price. Okay. Just so we understand. We need freedom. We need to walk out of that jail cell. And so what you do, because unseen therapist is while you're sitting in this jail cell, notice in front of you, there is your father. And for that matter, the tribe who is echoing all this, you've better do it right. You got to do it perfect type beliefs. And understanding says, I use the term beliefs purposely doesn't make them real. It means it's their, their beliefs. You bought them. Yes, you bought them, but it's their beliefs. It came from their background, their experiences, and they gave them to you in order to get through this world. You've got to do perfect, better, 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 and you will never do it good enough. And you'll notice with those beliefs, he's in the same jail cell. Mm -hmm. As you. <laughs> <laughs> You're both behind the door and it's locked. Mm -hmm. Now, unseen therapist says, I'll tell you what. I am going to unlock the door. And I'm going to just move it ajar, open it, just move it a couple of inches ajar. So it's all you have to do is walk out of it. You and or your father walk out of it. You just move the door aside and walk out into freedom. It's your choice, but you may need a little more before you're ready to walk out of that jail. So jail cell. So unseen therapist says, now there's your father in front of you. And he represents not only him, but the tribe, well, we're going to focus on him, understanding he represents the whole tribe and all of their impact on you. You got to do it right, be perfect, and so on. And there he is, and he's surrounded by, um, I can't think of what to call them, little belief bugs. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> the belief bugs are on him. They're stinging him a little bit. They kind of like ticks kind of burrow into him and things <laughs> like that. You know, some of them are actually inside of him, burrowing around and dancing and saying, oh, we, you know, we live here. We live here. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Kind of things, you know. But you're on the outside looking in and saying, ooh, <laughs> do I have those bugs? And indeed, <laughs> indeed, you have some of the bugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if not all of them, okay? And they're on you and in mm-hmm. you and everything else, okay? One thing the bugs, one thing the bugs cannot survive in is ultimate love. Because in ultimate love, the need to be perfect is a, uh, well, speaking of your spiritual goals, the need to be perfect, as it will, in the world's, the separated world's terms, isn't really even in the vocabulary. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm, Sure. Okay. So your spiritual goals of doing it perfect are, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Jenny, Mm-hmm. Your spiritual goals are at odds with all these, all these bugs that you have developed. You don't have to do it right. You have to move into it. You have to relax into it. Am I yeah. saying it right? Or, or yes. Don't let, okay. Yes. So the bugs are in your father's way. He gave you the bugs. They're in your way. All right. Now, at no time here, Are we going to excuse your father's behavior? It may be very valid to him and everything else, but he could have made other choices and so on. But we're not going to excuse the behavior. We're going to understand the behavior. That being a useful step towards ultimate forgiveness, to understand where he's coming from. He came from a tribe. The tribe gave mm-hmm. him the bugs. Okay. <laughs> he's run his, his, his whole life has been around these bugs. He's given them to you and others around him and, and so on. So unseen therapist says, I tell you what, Jenny, let's, uh, let's you and me get together. There's your father outside. Okay. But you and I, you're gonna, we're going to get together here for a moment. And you have spiritual experiences. You've been moving in the spiritual direction. You've, you understand much more than your father could understand the spiritual realms and what's really there. This is an unusual place for him. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. So Unseen Therapist says, okay, Jenny, you and I, let's combine our love. Now, I understand my love is maybe more pure than yours because I don't sit here trying to exist within this separated world, okay? But we can combine our love. You can borrow all the love from me you want to enhance the love you already have that your father has not experienced yet. Mm -hmm. And we're going to amp this baby up big time. And we are going to gently share that love with your father. Okay. Okay. And as we share that love with your father, we don't send it to him. We radiate it because the more we feel it, the more we can radiate it and the more we have. Okay. And so imagine him there with all these bugs and imagine his body maybe having some tension about got to do it right. And maybe that shows up in his face and his eyes and things like that with some kind of must type, have to type demeanor. We share that love and the bugs, the bugs inside. First, the bugs outside go, whoa, 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 what's all of this? And they don't run away in terror. They understand that they're being loved and they don't need to do it right. Doing doing it right is just doing what you do. And so the bugs kind of blend in with the love. They disappear into it. We don't crush them and throw them away. We dissolve them into love. And that love then permeates your father's 
to the bugs on the inside. And gradually those bugs dissolve. And you notice your father is in your imagination. If you can do this, give this a try, please. Mm -hmm. the, the tension in his body starts to fade. And the tension in his face softens. The eyes soften. And maybe you can hear him saying, Ah, Jenny, look how beautiful you are. Look at these goals you developed on your own. They were so out far outside of my own understanding about this world. Look at how you are now a teacher to me rather than me trying to be a demanding teacher of you. He surrenders in this fashion. And with that comes his peace. Peace. He says, I love you. Oh, Jenny, I love you. Tell me some more about what you're doing. Oh, I love you. You are a gift. You are a gift to the world, even though I may have thwarted it a little bit. And then you say to your father, well, all right. Look at the jail cell door. Look at that door. It's ajar. You don't have to be here. You don't have to be here at all. If you wish, walk outside. Move that door open and walk outside. Relieve the building into the fresh air and be free. Now, take a moment, Jenny, and mm -hmm. as best you can, imagine that. And whenever you're completed that, just say, okay, I'm done. Leave the eyes closed and we'll continue. Okay. Okay. Does that mean you're done? Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, okay, not right. yet. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yes. All right. Well, close the eyes. Close the mm -hmm. eyes. Were you were you able to do that well? Uh, did, did, uh, did did you have some competing thoughts? Uh, tell me what happened in there. Uh, yeah, actually, um, I saw a kind of you know like uh, lights shining surrounding, especially in front of me in the space, almost like between you and me. At the beginning, when you started, and then the bugs, you know, um, yeah, it's just like we are not conquering or killing them, but just embracing, and they are exposed in the light as well. So it's like they gradually, gradually disappeared. Um, when you spoke representing my dad to recognize me actually it caused some emotion me. should i still close my eyes to uh, whatever whatever, or, whatever, uh, whatever you, we'll close them in a minute whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever whatever you're comfortable with okay uh yeah so i had some emotions like was telling myself that yes that's what i have been you know looking for in my entire lifetime he never gave me any recognition praise or whatever whatever how well i did he would go to his family friends or other people strangers to tell them how good his daughter and the son we only have two you know uh, uh -huh. he has two children and how good we were but he never said a word in front of us especially me, I never heard. So when you said that for him to me, 
I felt the love. And I saw also in my mind's picture that his stressed face started to open up and started to smile. Like I saw the image of him when he was younger. Sometimes very few moments I remember he was relaxed and he was happy. So Mm -hmm. I saw his smile face. And then, you know, the final time final uh, uh piece when you said you know yeah the jail cell doors open let's go so at the beginning it was funny at the beginning it was like you know it's like almost like turn around didn't know he was lost <laughs> it's like he didn't know where to go sure so, and then you know so i actually walked to him you know like uh, take took his arm and I walk with him together. So finally, that's the ending piece. So I just walked with him together going out. I felt like it's very beautiful. Okay. Now we're not done yet, but I'm going to okay. <laughs> test a little something here for the moment. Your kidneys still a five, your a two or three or some other number. The zisant is maybe two, but like in the distant, a bit distant area, not right pressing to the head. It's like in the background, but a, a bit far, distant okay. place. All and right. the kidney, kidney goes down to three to four, I think. All right. It's it's just residual. It's like a just familiar sensation. It's from the past. All right. Well, th- that's a clue that we're headed yeah. in the right direction. That's a clue that we're not we're not necessarily going to be complete here. Okay. But yeah, that's a, yeah. That's yeah. a clue we're in the right direction because the physical measurements are responding. That's the yes. point. Yes. Okay. Now. And also some sensation is still going on around the neck. It's about, you know, speaking my truth. This definitely helped me to speak my truth because that was buried inside. Sure. And there we have another issue about which I think this issue, what we're doing, has some impact on, but not total impact. There's okay. More, there's more, more to do. Mm-hmm. But close the eyes. Close the eyes. Let's, uh, unseen therapist is still here. We don't need to re-invite her. Or okay. Like that. So, so your father, now being bugless, has, <laughs> has left the jail cell. You're still in it. You're mm-hmm. still in it. Okay. He stops outside. He voluntarily comes back in with the door still open. And he recognizes, now, mind you, this is in our imagination, this is in our session, et cetera. He may or may not recognize this in reality once you see him again and so on. All right. But for this purpose, for this purpose, he comes in softer, no longer demanding. And he recognizes you still have his bugs. <laughs> <laughs> And he would like to help you get rid of them. So he invites unseen therapists to come sit next to him. Mm. And now in your imagination, that unseen therapist help him with develop all the love, all the bugless love that he may be capable of, even, even which maybe he's never even experienced before. But the two of them together are recognizing your buglessness. Mm. They recognize you, th- you think you have bugs, but they're seeing your buglessness. And as you sit there, imagine the love coming in. And the more intensely you can imagine this, probably the better. Here comes the love. And the bugs on the outside, whoa, we have no reason to be, and they just dissolve happily into the love. 
And then the love comes in. Your father's love, unseen therapist's love to the bugs within. And they too cannot survive. They don't just die off and get decimated. They are embraced, as you said earlier, arms around them, loved, and they become part of the love. And their bugness disappears. And there you are, left with your own spiritual goals, but no demands. No, you got to do it right, whatever that is. The recognition that people in the human separated state have been trying to have complete enlightenment, perfection, if you will, for millenniums. A few may have gotten there. We read about them. Jesus, maybe Buddha, maybe some others, perhaps. But they are few and far between. They become goals for us. Rather than goals, let's call them possibilities. Not requirements. Possibilities. They are open for us. They are there if we, to the more we can let go of our own ego stuff and distractions and all everything that wants to keep us here. The more we let go of that, the more we enter into that, the more we climb our stairway to miracles. But it's not, there's no demands. Demands get in the way. Requirements, have tos, and perfection. It gets in the way. Perfection is something you develop within the human separated world. That's, a, that's something that occurs there or here, I guess it is. In the enlightened world, perfection isn't even in the vocabulary. Everything just is. And the more you can relax into it, ah, the better. And so your father, with the blessings of unseen therapists who now hovers above the jail cell just to watch in loving wonder at your father and you. As you get together, you meet in the center of the jail cell. You hug, you kiss, you go arm in arm or hand in hand, however you want, through the jail cell door, go outside, you are free, you go into the outdoors, the trees, the air. No bugs. You are free. Spend some time with that. And whenever you're done, just open your eyes and we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that last piece, did you have any, again, competing thoughts or, or anything else that showed up? Not competing thoughts, but when you said, you know, my father came back to the jail cell and uh, saw the bugs on me, I immediately felt like they, are, they were surrounding my neck and also in my kidney. And interesting, it's not in my brain. It's not in my head. It's in my neck. Wait, wait, neck wait, 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 wait. Did you just say no? Zzz? No, I said the bugs. Oh, the bugs. Okay, the bugs. All right. Yeah, the bugs okay. were surrounding my neck. And I felt it when you said 
mentioned this, I felt it right away. It's running my neck and also in my kidney. It's also like, it's all, all, almost like, you know, I have been maybe unconsciously listening to these kind of, you know, self judging, whatever kind of words. So kidney is also the, the, uh, the other area. And then, so just still fell the light and the, the throat area became clearer. It's kind of like it, it was cleaning and cleansing. Mm -hmm. uh, then, you know, my father, he never showed, you know, his emotions in front of us in the family or so. So when I try to, you know, uh, hug him, he was like even lay back, didn't want to do this or so. And he totally believed in tough love. Okay. So, so, and then I just, you know, wait a bit, waited a little bit. And then just enjoy, still enjoying the light in the space. And finally, he let me hug but not like you know like me and my son we just hug you know really tight express our love or so it's still not like that but it's okay so mm -hmm. i can accept that i hug him and uh he still kind of you know wanted to show he's the boss okay i also accept that <laughs> so and then i just again uh took his arm you know walked together with him he had that peace without that strong like demanding then you know uh, uh energy if i would say so yeah i really love the statement you had about not requirement but uh but what not requirement but uh like uh, relaxing into it relaxing into it yeah support yes support yes, rather support, than requirement yes. okay yes okay. yeah so yeah right. what about the idea that um your spiritual goals being perhaps different than his more material success in oh, the yeah, world oh yeah totally like goals totally. your yeah. spiritual goals were the important goals and they didn't necessarily have to be his goals anymore. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I it's totally, I, totally. It's true. I am the exceptional one in my tribe, especially my father's family. You know, I had more spiritual need and more spiritually driven in the, in the court to move forward okay. than oh any of them. Yes. Okay. Well, now, one of the things that happens here, Jenny, getting to the physical things for the moment, and we'll test them in a second. Okay. Yes, yes. But one of the things that happens, not always, so I can't say it's going to happen with you, is that we sort of initiate a healing here. And an hour from now, tomorrow morning, sometime in the future, they tend to fade because healing has been initiated. Yes. No, no guarantee. It may or may not. Yeah, be yeah, that. yeah. Sure. I understand. Yes. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. But, okay. but let's say as a test for now, yeah. check out your zzz and your kidneys and give me whatever the current numbers might be. My zzz sound in the brain, it's almost like gone. Maybe it's only if I would say uh, one. But okay. it's again, it's in the distant place in the back okay all right and, the and i i also felt the clarity in the brain all right and the kidney i would say two two or three all but right. it's better but it's better all right well that's down from a three to four which was before and down from yeah. the six six we began with and all of that okay so all right well that's movement in the right direction yes again i want to emphasize not only for you but for anybody lis listening yeah in. yeah yeah this is a good start type session we don't know 
how much we've really done until a little more time goes by. Okay. Cause you'll, you'll know how things show up again in your life and whatever, but those are all indications to you. Oh, that part of it is not completed yet. And now you can go back to the jail cell if you want to, or some other, <laughs> some other, or get the bugs. Okay. <laughs> a, a few bugs left over or whatever, <laughs> but that's the first time I ever, uh -huh. I ever had bugs show up in one of my, sessions. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be sending you a copy of all this. And I would Thank suggest you so much. Yep. Um, that you go over not only the beginning, which is all the reframes and everything else, but you may want to re-experience the session with the unseen therapist, a time or two or three or more, uh, because chances are, as you do that, oh, other things will show up. Yeah. Often, often they do. Often mm -hmm. they do. Mm hmm. And those are pointers to you to be more thorough and uh, yeah, get, sure. get beyond our good start. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Okay. So anything else you want to go over? No, that's pretty much all. Thank you so much. I mean, this really teaches me again, even though like when we as practitioners ourselves, you know, it's like, you know, I have been working on myself for so long, so many areas, different, da, da, da. But, you know, the foundational stuff, it's just like you said, it's not 100% cleared. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Typically, typically it isn't. People want, want it to be that way. They want one minute wonders. And so they get some temporary stuff. They go, yeah, 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 that's all. But they're wrong. <laughs> Almost always wrong. Not, once yeah. in a while, we once in a while we get a one minute wonder in it. <laughs> okay. But that's not typical. That's not typical. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, very, very good. Thank you so much. It was so beautiful. I enjoyed it a lot. Appreciate it. All right, great. 